As gas prices continue to strain wallets, so many are taking a look at going electric. But first responders say electric vehicles pose some new challenges to them. News 4's Alexis Zotos is live at 5 from downtown learning about all the new training that's needed to deal with that electric technology. Alexis. That's right. So we're really starting to see more and more charging stations around town as more and more people look to make the switch to electric. But as more people switch, that means first responders have a new challenge on their hands and it requires a lot of new training. In smoke, according to the National Fire Protection Association, there's a car fire every two minutes in the U.S. It's something fire crews in our area respond to regularly. But there's a key step in their response, knowing if the car is gas powered or electric. Let the dispatchers know that it's an electric vehicle or it's a hybrid. Training from the National Transportation Safety Board is key, and it's a growing part of the continuing education for first responders. We typically want to be on top of that, especially because it can affect us so dramatically one way or another. Eureka Fire says it typically can take about 20 to 25 minutes to extinguish a car fire when it's a gas-powered vehicle. But if it's electric? With an electric vehicle, you can be there for an hour just putting water on it. You have to monitor that vehicle as it goes onto the tow truck, and you might even have to follow the tow truck to the tow yard because it can reignite even after that. Up to 22 hours after they've been extinguished, they've been known to reignite. So that's a big deal. The amount of water needed is huge. Some of the Teslas and some of the other hybrids and some of the other electric vehicles are in the 20 and 25 and 30,000 gallons worth of water and taking almost an hour to extinguish. So as you can imagine, this takes a lot of preparation. I've made calls to different fire departments across our area. Many of them say that this is on their radar, that they're looking into it, reading different training models. But a lot of them haven't done hands-on training, which they say is definitely important, again, as more people take the electric route. Alexis Zotos, News 4.